Hello everyone. If you want to see how it went from this to this, stay tuned. So this is Sydney's hair. It's been straightened, washed, all that good stuff. I have a video of how it turned out. Her hair is really thick and beautiful. But today we are going to do some birthday hair. It's going to be her 10th birthday pretty soon. So we want a good birthday hairstyle. So I'm just prepping it right now, doing a little detangling. I added some oil in it so um it can be easy to get a foundation on it a base because we're going to be doing crochet and we have some beautiful hair that we're going to be using it is the toyo tress wand curls which is 12 inches and it, the hair color is 1b and then it comes with six packs look at those beautiful curls bouncy beautiful curls and on each ringlet of the curl that ringlet right there there's about 14 or 15 strands of hair and yes you can crochet it and that's what i'm going to do and after i get her foundation there's her foundation and i didn't braid her hair like straight on the scalp because like that's kind of where her new growth is and she's really tender headed so I didn't really um, braid tightly because y'all know how Sydney is so I did the best that I can and I made the braids kind of loose and then now I'm just crocheting in her hair that last strand of hair and I'm just pulling it through other cornrows to make a hold and there's that ringlet I'm pulling off and then it comes with a crochet needle and I'm just going to, well, I'm not going to use a crochet needle right now because here's like the little special effect that I'm, I was excited for. Oh, it's not happening yet. So I'm going to use some edge control and um, I'm just going to smooth down, lay down her edges. And this was hurting her. I'm like, girl, I just can't win with her, you know, so, um, I was laying down both sides of her hair and I smoothed it in with a comb just to get that nice um, flat look. And then I'm going to start in the front. And instead of crocheting the front of her hair, I want it to have four cornrows because this hair doesn't have loops. It's um, just like braiding hair. So I'm going to do like a little knotless braid at the top, four of them, and I'm going to feed in the hair. So I'm braiding down and then I'm adding the hair. So you won't have that knot at the top. And another reason why I didn't braid Sydney's hair so tightly because those other um, crochet braids at the foundation, um, um, it, I left it in too long and her hair was tangled if you saw that last video so I had to do a lot of detangling so I'm just going to do loose braids every time um, I do crochet hair because we do love crochet and it's so pretty on Sydney so I'm braiding four and I'll just let you guys watch that the hair is so cute and to keep it like the ringlets in it every time I um braid it down or finish the braid i put a little edge control on it just to tame the curls so they won't have that frizzy look right here i just ran my fingers through it and ta-da beautiful so i'll just let you guys watch that and then i'll pop back in when the next scene occurs and I step in at the yard with no ID And we are bossy bossy down with no IV IV, IV, IV See the girl them pull up See the man them turn up In at the yard them a burn up Till the money them a turn up See the girl them pull up See the man them turn up In at the yard them a burn up Till the money them a turn up I like the way I'm feeling can touch this feeling. I'm in my feelings. Bad man, me and my feelings. Ain't no bag I can't taste. 
When I'm moving, nobody can test me. Man, I really can't flex. Them man, them I really can't test me. Okay, so now I'm going to take that crochet needle which comes within the pack. I'm going to slide it under the um, her hair, the braid, her braided hair, and then I'm going to knot it twice because they do like kind of slip out. The hair is kind of slippery, so knot it as many times as you like, but um, I did it twice and that secured it for me. But there's other ways that you can do it, and um, I'll show you guys another way the next time um, I do a crochet look because there are tons of ways that you can do this and to avoid slippage. But right now, I'm just going to do the double knot. It's the easiest way, and it's great for beginners. So I'm going to do that up each strand. I use about six to seven strands. And on her whole head, I think I only use um about three packs of hair this hair is full bouncy playful i think it's just right for um a soon to be 10 year old um it can be a lot but sydney absolutely loved this look she never loves the process but she loves the finished look she really loved this one some of them like when i did those bantu knots remember that she did not love that look but this look she loved look that look at her Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you the last row. You see how full and bouncy the curls are? It's because each one I put in, each um, strand, I made sure to apply the edge control, run it all through and making sure that each strand has that um, product on it to make it stay nice and bouncy and um, contain all the frizz. So if you like this hair, um, the link and everything, their social media, all that good stuff, however you need to contact them, uh, will be down in the description box below. Um, I think I'm going to use this hair because we have a lot left over. And I think because Sydney, we have like a special occasion for her, this milestone 10 years um we have something special planned for her and i think i want to we're going to be kind of twinning so i think i want to twin with the hair too it's for i think it's for adults and um and for kids it's just the way that you style it um i would say if you don't like long hair that you can cut it this is 12 inches um or well you can cut it but they do offer other inches but um i think i would like the 12 inches because i like long hair but with kids sometimes it will get in the way in like school or sports or whatever um but they do offer different um inches of it it's so beautiful look at it look at it um i wanted to put it up in a ponytail but she was like no mom i want it down but um she's going to school and i don't want it to get in the way so i just put two lower ponytails pigtails in it oh my gosh it's just so cute and she loved it so when sydney loves her hair it makes me feel happy and it's like a big sigh of relief so um as you can see like a braid is kind of out right there but you can add more crochet hair um whatever you need to do i just didn't want to over fill it and um everything worked out perfectly it's so cute and i just thank you guys for watching like i said if you want to grab this hair go ahead and grab it it's just so it's fun <laughs> that's how i want to describe it it's fun hair you like to have fun and it's cute and if you like that just go ahead and click that link down below i thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe um comment we thank you guys for always supporting us and we love you and we want you to have a great day and happy holidays this is great holiday hair too um thank you and i will see you in my next video bye no, I be, I be, I be, I be.
low. See the man them 